Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Postal Package Partner Webinar, one of a series of educational webinars from WindowBook. My name is Monica Lundquist, and I am Postal Affairs and Technical Support Manager here at WindowBook. I will be presenting the introduction to the webinar, followed by a live demo of the PPP software by Teresa Tabor, our Shipping Products Manager. The agenda for today's webinar is to provide information about our Postal Package Partner software. First, we will describe some of the functions that PPP allows you to do. We'll then turn it over to Teresa, who will give you a high-level demonstration of the basic functionality of PPP. Postal Package Partner Software, or PPP, is software for facilitating shipments through the Postal Service. It provides for either file import of shipment data or manually keyed input. The software also allows you to print shipping labels and to generate shipping manifests. PPP supports a variety of mail shipments, such as first class, priority mail, express mail, parcel post, parcel select, bound printed matter, library mail, media mail, and a variety of international mail shipments. PPP also provides for many automated functions, such as an automated and customizable email shipment notification. It also supports electronic delivery confirmation, signature confirmation, return merchandise shipments, and it supports numerous scales and printers. PPP also provides support for priority mail open and distribute and express mail open and distribute, which are great ways of taking advantage of drop shipping for smaller volume shipments. We do offer a separate webinar on this topic, so please check out our website for upcoming dates for this webinar. PPP allows for real-time connection to your parcel database and also provides support for electronic return receipt service and for private parcel insurance. And for those of you who ship internationally, the Postal Service is now requiring the use of their global shipping software, or GSS, to generate the shipping labels and transmit the shipping information. And this is effective April 1. Now, this change was due to changes in security laws for various federal agencies. PPP supports the use of GSS for international shipments. There is an application and certification process for this, so if you ship internationally and have not yet started this process, we encourage you to contact us so that we can assist you with this. Now that we've explained a little bit about PPP and its many available functions, I'm going to turn it over to Teresa Tabor. She is our Shipping Products Manager, and she's going to be giving us a high-level look at the software itself. Teresa, it's all yours. Okay. Everybody should be able to see my screen. Um, so what we're looking at here is the Postal Package Partner Program. Um, I am actually excited today to give this um, webinar because it's um, the first time we're um, able to demo our Microsoft SQL version of TTP. Um, we've basically um, recently converted our database over from Pervasive SQL to Microsoft SQL. Um, and um, this is the version. It's, it's currently in beta, um, but I figured I would use this for our demonstration. All the functionality is the same. The only difference is the database itself is using the Microsoft SQL database um, opposed to pervasive. Um, so um, all the functionality itself is, is the same. Um, so essentially what we have is um, a shipping system software. It does a lot of um, the special services. Um, for example, delivery confirmation. Um, it will upload your data to the post office. Um, and provide you the tracking data back. Um, and you can also do a variety of um, shipping labels. Um, you don't have to use the delivery confirmation. It is a very popular feature. Um, so the first thing that you're going to do, there's, there's a couple of different ways people may use PPP. One is um, that you have a file like a text file, for example, you want to batch, import them, print them all at once, and present your mailing. Um, that's used commonly, maybe for marketing pieces or um, any 